Ouch. <laughs> oh, by the way. I think I popped a blood vessel in my brain. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching another episode of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason, and this is Steven. Maybe, a maybe, yeah. Mm. And this show here, we just talk about our dreams. And tonight's episode is um, called "Boring Dreams." Boring dreams. When we say boring, they're just you know, you guys always write us and say, "Hey, I wish I had dreams like you," or "I don't remember my dreams." Well, there's some dreams that we have. We're just like you. There's some dreams that makes absolutely no sense. And yeah. There's really not worth talking about. So that's why they're we fairly call stupid. Episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's why we're gonna call this boring dreams. Boring dreams. And you'll be like, oh yeah, they're just like us. Yeah. And yeah. Then we do have some funny we're, ones. Uh, let, I'll tell you, we are not like superior dreamers. <laughs> I know. We're just <laughs> we're just regular guys like everyone else. Regular guys that we know, just happen have, to have maybe a little bit more active imaginations than some people do. Yes. So. And and video cameras. And video cameras, this. yeah. That's well, he I'm has video cameras. I don't. But, so. but 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 you come over. I do. So there we go. Let's count. So it does work out. And just so it happens, we had this curtain just hanging here already. That so. yeah, it was just here. And why did we even? Do it the you know what? You know it? what's funny? I we've never told you. I've we've never told you all about this but this room that we're in jason didn't even know he had it he just it just he just walked in one day and he said what's this mm -hmm. and then next thing you know here since 2001 i know mm, it's weird i thought yeah so, and, and all of a sudden we just oh this is where we can film the dreams at. Oh, no then wonder they said three bedroom house because this, this is the third bedroom this is or it's studio two as we like to call is it. the third bedroom kind of like the fifth beetle Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is the Billy Preston bedroom. <laughs> yes. Okay. The Billy Preston suite. <laughs> nothing from nothing leaves nothing. No. All right. So I'm going to do a couple shout outs. Of course, always, Jamie Murray. I'm um, Jamie Murray. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Can J you tell us who is Jamie Murray? <laughs> Jamie Evans. Stu Murray, <laughs> which we'll talk about him in a minute. And a, and Rob's Rogues and a new person that um, said she was watching, Olivia. She also ha goes by Automatica. That's her YouTube handle. So, oh. thank you, Olivia, for yes. watching. Thank you very much, Olivia. We are glad that you are watching our videos. Welcome to the team. Uh. And don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> And Med Wamba, he he writes on every episode. He does. And Sean Henry. And Sean Henry. Yeah, we have some loyal fans. We have a lot of good people. And um, there was a new guy. It just slipped my mind. I'll get you next time. <laughs> Wasn't it the uh, like Gloth TV or something? Yeah. G L O A T H. Yeah. He's been know. watching too. So thank you for watching, Mister TV. Anyway, so what I just say? Anyway, anyway. So we are going to read a dream from Stu Murray. Stu Murray from Scotland. Mm -hmm. So I have the iPad here. Steven's going to read it. Where it says stop here. That's where you quit. That's where you stop reading. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. All right. This is Stu Murray's dream. Okay. So as you know, my dad owns a cab company. My brother and I are partners. Whilst I do occasional school contracts and the finances for the company, I don't actually drive the cabs. Oh, wait, hold on. Stu is from the UK, by the way. We have drivers for that. Anyway, in my dream, I was driving a cab and went to a house to pick up a guy and his girlfriend. They got in the car and I said, er, what are you doing? <laughs> they replied with, getting in your taxi take us to the station i then got out of the car opened the boot and then Stu has here in uh parentheses trunk i guess in scotland they call the trunk of the car the boot the boot yeah very cool yeah. something we learned there i did not know you that you know that i didn't i think it's out on james Bond. that's very cool um anyway let me start that over i got out of the car opened the boot and lifted out a wheelchair 
And you've never heard this dream yet? No, never I, have. I, I, wrote, I heard it because Stu wrote it to me. But And I sat in it. I shouted to the couple, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> they both got out of the car, dumbfounded, and walked over to me. I asked them to sit on the arms of the wheelchair, which they did, and I proceeded to start wheeling along with my arms in the chair. (laughs) We were going so slowly because of the (laughs) way. After about 15 minutes, the guy said, "Uh, we'll just leave the taxi. (laughs) They climbed off. And we're only like five meters from their house. <laughs> LOL. Then I woke up. Stop here. That's what I wrote. Stop here. <laughs> so thank you, Stu, for writing that funny, funny that dream. Was that was funny. funny. That was very That's funny. That's one of our dreams, kind of like. It is. So. Random, sort of. <laughs> very random. And um, you have a dream that you would like to share? Yeah, this Send one. Send it to us. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Sorry. What did you say? I thought you were getting ready to talk to me. You were talking oh. to the folks at home. Yeah, but we'll get to you in a second. Okay. So how do, if, Sorry. You want, if you want to write us, how do we get a hold of you, Stephen? scharwood at gmail.com. Or you could just get a hold of me at facebook.com slash goodish. Link down below. Okay, so now we are doing the boring dream. So like I said, you know, we have funny dreams like Stu just had. But sometimes we have dreams that are just not worth mentioning, mm-hmm. except right now. So, you go, I go, you go, then I go, until we run out. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I got a lot written down. So this one. I might win this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one I had not that long ago, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, I had a dream that my... Mom and dad moved out of the current house that they lived in that they live in mm-hmm. and moved back to the house that they used to live in, which is about roughly maybe four or five blocks north of where we live now. Mm-hmm. The old house on Indiana Street, mm-hmm. which is where I spent the first ten years of my life at. Uh-huh. And they decided to move back to that house and mm-hmm. I didn't move. I stayed in my current house, which is actually right next door to their house. And they moved all their stuff out, but Dad decided just to leave the garage as it was. All of his tools and all of his things, he just left them in there. He wasn't going to take them. That's it. That's it. All right. So now it's my turn. It's your turn. Now you get the gist of what we're going to do. I got to think. So um, I don't know who I was talking to, all right? Okay. In this dream, but... I said to somebody, I have one bell, and it wasn't very smart. A dumbbell. Get it? Dumbbell. Then I woke up. (laughs) That's boring. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let's see. I I don't know who I was talking to. (laughs) Um, let, Let me... Let me think about this here. I was under the impression we were just going to do one boring dream apiece, so I'd, oh, I don't have anything else ready. I'm sorry. Um, Why didn't you tell me? No, it's okay. Uh, let's see. This one, I kind of wanted to film it so y'all could see it, and we might do that sometime. But I um, I had a dream that uh, there was this there was this room full of women. Now don't you all go thinking things? Ooh, I already did. They were like sitting in. No, I'm just they were like sitting in. Uh, uh, they were sitting in chairs in a circle. And it's like they were having just fellowship, you know, just oh, social nice. gathering or something. And I opened the door, and these women were in there. I opened the door, and I just looked at them, I smiled, and I said, "I opened the door, and I said, let me tell you what." <laughs> and that was that dream. <laughs> wow. So that's it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go again? <laughs> let me tell you what. That's all I said. It was so stupid. Yeah, we'll have to film that for a cold intro or so. Yeah. Uh, okay. I had this one last month. I was standing in line with two other people downtown in a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh it. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. That, that's, that's pretty boring. All right. Next. That's pretty we got boring. one. Um... I can go get a few. Yeah, ones. go ahead, Jason, because I gotta try to jog my memory here. I'm sorry, I don't have anything prepared. I win, even though I didn't tell him the rules he before. Wins. He so anyway, win. it's not a contest though. 
So I also had this last month. I was in the office, all right? And there was like a nice cur- window with a curtain there. And I was looking at the guy across the desk, and it was Sean Connery, James Bond. Probably around the era of Never Say Never Again. And he was sitting there, and he had like one of those vanilla folders in his hands. Mm-hmm. And he's doing this. Going through the papers. Papers turning really loud. Hmm. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome, though. Oh, gosh. I saw, <laughs> like, good. Sean Connery in person uh, when he looked, you know, off topic here. That's our other show. Why did Sean Connery look better in Never Say Never Again, which was filmed in the late 80s? But in 1969, um, Diamonds Are Fe- Forever. I'll put the pictures he up. He looks so old. I know. Well, like, how'd that happen? happen? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? And Roger Moore, who would replace him, if, if, if I recall correctly, is like three years older than him. Exactly. What happened in 1969, Mr. Connery? Yeah, we want answers, and mm. we want them now. Favorite James Bond. Favorite James Um. Oh, boy. You would ask me that, wouldn't you? I've got several. Uh, Not the film, but the actor. Oh. I have to say this, and uh, feel free to disagree. Mm-hmm. I've always liked Roger Moore. Oh, good. That's cool. So, and I like I like Sean Connery, too, but Roger Moore is probably my favorite James Bond. So well, Very good. I liked um, the guy that only played it one time. Anthony Lazenberg. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Anthony Lazenberg. <laughs> We know that's wrong. <laughs> but we were in line at Walmart buying something for the show. Is Maybe this, this table, table yeah. This table. We bought the table that day. <laughs> yes. And you just got the words, the names mixed up. And you said that. And it didn't even dawn on me. I knew who you were talking about, but it didn't dawn on me. <laughs> and you started laughing, if I remember right. And you're like, Anthony Lazenberg. Anthony Lazenberg. <laughs> who was that? Anthony Lazenberg. And then that's where we just caught on from there. Oh, God. See how I set that joke up? Yeah, that was. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, man, that so was so Thank funny. you for bringing that mm. back into memory. Okay. Yeah. You got another dream? Um, yeah, this one I had back in January. I think it was like the 16th. I was playing this piano over at my cousin Howard's house. And my cousin Howard, he's my second cousin. Uh, he's quite, he's a lot older than me. Howard is in his, he's like 82 now, wow. 83. Um, I have a much older family. And uh, I was playing this piano, and the keyboard fell off in my lap. No, that's not good. And I was playing Gone So Long by Professor Longhair, which is a New Orleans kind of 12-bar blues, shuffle blues. And this keyboard just fell off in my lap. Hmm. That's it? That's it. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's it. And I got one, two for you, back to back. It happened on January 25th, January 26th. I dreamed that I got one of those long Hot Wheel tracks. Mm-hmm. Then, then on the 26th, I had a dream that I bought a long Hot Wheels track. <laughs> so you know what I did, like, two days later in real life? You bought a long Hot Wheels track? Yeah, I did. That's and nice. All well, my other channel, my other friends would know it. So that's where all that started, actually. Um, this one here is kind of a boring dream. It's it's a it's a pointless dream. Of course, most of them are that that I have. Mm-hmm. But this this is the first dream I've ever had that had music in it. Mm-hmm. And, oh yeah, that's cool. And this is a song that in this dream I was singing this song. Ooh, what is it? It's called the Carousel. And I'll play it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let me find it here. Mm-hmm. And I made a recording of this on 
the Garage Band. <laughs> so this is called October Carousel Dreams, 1965. Yeah, I don't think no one's heard this yet. No, they haven't. Hope y'all can let me find the speaker. Hope y'all can hear this. Sorry. Well, that was short. That was it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was singing this in the dream. That's me on the keys, by the way. That's beautiful. For Sammy Chapman. That's my son. I threw that in there just for the heck of it. But yeah, the whole dream. I was singing that. <laughs> I think when you send that to me, he's like, this is stupid. I, I, had, I immediately woke up and I had to sing it. I was like, oh my God. And I sang that in this dream. And that was the whole stinking dream. Singing I Love the Carousel. <laughs> Shadiki do wah wah. That's so stupid. <laughs> All right, I got one for you. All right. I have a t shirt, a white t shirt that I wear under my work clothes, uh, my suit and ties. And um, one of the shirts, you know, because you put the pin right here in the pocket, you know, it made an ink spot, right? So. In my dream, I was just wearing a T-shirt, mm-hmm. and uh, my wife Melissa comes up to me and goes, points to my chest, you know where the ink spot is, and said, "Ink spot, ink spot, double ink spot." Then I woke up. You know what that reminds me of? Was it meatloaf, beetloaf, double beastloaf? <laughs> that's from the Christmas. It is. Story. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's Randy. Yeah, that that's where. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I get that's that. where that came from. Yeah, I'm 99 percent mm. sure. Yeah. You know? Uh, I did. I just thought it left my mind. Um, darn it. Let's Let see go. here. I'll, 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 I'll come back to that. Let me think. I've got another one. Uh, I had a dream. This was not that long ago. I was playing. Okay. Now, obviously, the viewers aren't going to know, but the old fairgrounds where yeah. they used to have the where they had all the, dis- the displays for the fair set up at. Here's a picture of it. Looks just like that. At, at night. And the, and on the side of the fairground says "Good night, sleepyhead." Yeah, just like that. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I was playing inside there. There, it was kind of a little bit different. It was like a it was like an arena set up for like a rodeo. Mm-hmm. And I was playing in there, and they gave me this run down, dilapidated old keyboard to play on, and like half of the keys worked. It was like a nightmare for it you. It was. Wow. And I had to play for a long time, and somehow I did it. With wow. not having keys, I don't know how I did it. It was I don't I don't. It wasn't a piano. It wasn't an organ. It was just like a keyboard monstrosity. And Dude. I was trying to play, it and I did it somehow. But good for you. It was stressful. <laughs> let me tell you. Mm. All right, January twenty seventh, around the whole Hot Wheels track time that I had a dream. I had a dream that you know when we first started the show we were on this wall right here right yes well and we had we didn't have the white what do we have we had what kind of table it was a shorter table kind of like this or oh, the white one yeah i believe well, so. okay I, yeah I, because that wooden table was over there and that was okay, I thought, all the gear set up on. all right i thought we had a different table and so anyway we're sitting at the old table the blue background right right and it was like our should have been about our third episode right mm-hmm. and then Somebody else was filming because it went to like a really close up of my um, sweatpants that I, that I don't never wore for the show, but and it, <laughs> and it was like the um, theme to the Honor Majesty's Secret Service. This wah wah wah, and it fades into another scene of my sweatpants, uh, the stripe of my sweatpants. No 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 no, wah wah. This all about my sweatpants. Oh my gosh. 
And then the dream turns into, I was at my grandma's house. <laughs> Isn't that weird how it goes from yeah. that to that? Oh, yeah. I was at my grandma's house with my cousin Jimmy and my cousin JC. We went downtown with with my cousin JC, and she just morphed into Lisa Kudrow from Friends, Phoebe. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Wow, we. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, here's another one I had not too long ago. Again, I didn't. It was so stupid. I was at. I've had several dreams where we. I was over at my grandma Laura's house, and the last fifteen years of her life, she lived with me and my mother and father because she had major back surgery. She had a ruptured disc after taking a very bad fall. So for the last fifteen years of her life, she passed away. Two years ago, three years ago, she was 97 years old. And uh, in this, I've had several dreams where we're back over there at Grandma's house. Or I'm living there, and there's just all kinds of stuff there, which Grandma did have all kinds of stuff. But I was what living there. Do. Yeah. I was living in Grandma Laura's old house, and one of the children that we had in pre-K two years ago, three years ago, 2012, 2013, uh, this one boy that who's now a first grader, he was selling Kirby vacuum cleaners. Ooh, wow. He came over and he sold... But the Kirby that he sold me was... It, it wasn't a Kirby. It was like an old, old Hoover from like the 40s or the 50s. It wasn't a Kirby vacuum. It was a Hoover. <laughs> and that was it. That was that dream. So. Well, all right, I got one more for you. Though. Okay. If you got one more after that. Well, if that, I can think fine. of another one, right. otherwise we'll wrap it up. So, I had this on around March 6th. I wrote down here in my journal. My dream journal. Always keep a dream journal. Because then you can do boring episodes. That's right. <laughs> and March 6th. Are you trying to tell some, trail me something there? <laughs> no, no, I'm just suggesting to the fans. Oh, okay. March 6th, I had a dream that I was looking at a car door. and it, uh, and it But the car door was in charge of people's fate. Oh, wow. That's scary. And I knew it was a dream, though. Then I woke up. <laughs> Very interesting. All right. Um, let's see here. Yeah, what I had there. Is, I I want to save those for short dreams. Oh, Oklahoma, where the wind mm-hmm. comes sweeping down the plains. Um. All right. Go ahead and tell another one, Jason. I, I, I just don't think I've got any more. I don't see the other ones for short dreams. Okay. So, I know we laughed a lot, but those are boring <laughs> dreams. <laughs> I guess I don't have as many just boring dreams, maybe. I thought I had more, so, actually. I keep having these keyboard... Well, the keyboard dreams, I've had that several times. It's mm-hmm. scary. Well, actually. that's a nightmare, because it's not, not being ready or prepared. Because mm-hmm. you play a lot of gigs, and... That would suck if you weren't prepared. So, Oh, one more dream. I was in a car with a former pastor of mine. That's it. <laughs> oh my <God>. So, <laughs> how do we get all of you? scharwood at gmail.com And you can get a hold of me uh, down below. And Stephen too, I guess. <laughs> at facebook.com slash goodish. So we just want to thank everyone who's been watching, and please tell people about this show. You know, share this. Pass the word. Yeah, you know, you know sh- just hit the share button. You know, make sure you subscribe, like, share, the- <laughs> like the video, like, and make our day and comment. We love comments. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> comments, not Clint Eastwood. <laughs> okay. No comments about Clint Eastwood. <laughs> exactly. We'll, 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 t- we'll block you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so th- I think this was a good episode. I think actually. it was too. I really and thought it was going to be boring. I want to apologize to all of our viewers because I wish I had more ready. Yeah, I, I just thought we were going to do two. So. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell the rules. Hmm. All right, see you guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Forking me, I'm done. Stick a fork in me, I'm done mm-hmm. Stick a fork in me, I'm done Ego waffles Eat them all the time Stick 
a fork in me, I'm done. Stick a fork in me, I'm done.